high tide or low tide? Which one is better? Well, depending on who you are, some might say that two hours before high tide and two hours after high tide is the prime time to be surf fishing. In my personal experience, the tide doesn't really matter in terms of what's the best time to fish. It just depends on what beach you're fishing and which structure is most accessible during that tide. So some beaches, the structure might be much better on the high tide. The holes in the troughs might be a little bit closer and when it's more properly filled in on a high tide, it might be most effective to be fishing that beach. Other beaches, like the beach I'm fishing now, I personally have found the low tide is better. Some say in the fall or when the water gets colder, the fish move farther away. I haven't really found that to be the case. As always, you find the structure, you might find the fish. Today I'm fishing the low tide. It's gonna be a negative tide at like a minus 0.8 and we're about at a 1.5 right now and it's sucking out fast um, in the next couple of hours we're gonna hit the peak negative low and i like hitting this structure that is still covered by water but still deep enough to hold fish i'm looking at maybe two to three feet deep water so we'll see how it goes we'll see if my theory holds correct and fishing this beach on a negative tide or a low tide uh, is a successful one all right guys bell sea kind of talk you through a little bit how, about how i like to retrieve it why i like to retrieve it the way i do it I fish super shallow water. This is a one to two foot diver. Um, it's a suspending lure. It doesn't go down very deep. So I like to fish super shallow structure. And I keep my rod tip high to keep it off from snagging into rocks, but I do like it to get down there and I like bumping into rocks. I just don't want it to dig in. So I keep my rod tip high after the cast. And I give it quick pops. One pop, retrieve the slack. Two pops, retrie retrieve the slack. And just rinse and repeat. Um, I get hits in all different situations, whether I'm doing a straight retrieve, or sometimes I get hit right after a pop or a jerk. So it's important to vary that retrieve. Reel in that slack real quick, pop, pop, pop. Reel, steady retrieve. Pop, steady retrieve, pop, pop, pop. And when you pop it, it's given the LC, it's diving and darting every time you pop, pop up. Typically, jerk baits are fished in deeper water and you'll be jerking downwards. You'll be snapping that jerk bait rod down. But in this situation, if I were to do that, I guarantee you, I'd be really poor because I'd be buying a lot more lures. <laughs> so in this situation, I'm hitting rocks, preferably on top of them, and just skipping it off the rocks and keeping it swimming right above the bottom. So when you're working the lure, just cover as much territory as, as possible. Whether I cast a lot or a little is dependent on how many casts I really had a good cast. What I mean by that is during that cast, did I really feel like I got a good chance to retrieve the lure? And I, did I feel like the lure was doing what it was supposed to for as long as possible through a zone that I want to target? Uh, I found personally that when I feel like, man, this thing's swimming real good and man, I'm really able to slow this thing down. The percentage of getting hit is pretty darn high. It's pretty astounding. It's, it's almost like I'm using gold camel worms or something. When I'm swimming this thing right, it just gets bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Please stay on. I've been losing so many fish. Please stay on. <laughs> Small halibut. Oh my gosh, I thought I was worried about skunking today. That's actually okay, huh? Well, my friend Josh is here and he has confirmed to me that it's not illegal. So we're just gonna get this guy unbuttoned and let him go. So we're just able to pin a uh, short halibut. So it feels gratifying because it's been tough fishing. So it's good to beat the skunk here fishing with my friend Josh. Um, from Big Lout Baits. Now that we beat the skunk, we're gonna try to turn it into a solid session. Try to get Josh on some fish too. Yeah! Woo! 
<laughs> it was a small little halibut, but it bites a bite, man. Oh, dude, that's big. Dang. Dude, that's big. That's worth it. Uh, 13. Are you in for the perch or just the halibut? I think I'm entered for both. 12. 12 inch. Dude, so stoked for you, bro. Heck yeah, man. Dude, that's a good size. This one? Biggest, hell yeah, dude. Perch on a Look at that. Crack. Heck yeah. <laughs> Fish on! Oh, he's pulling. It's a decent sized fish, whatever it is. It's a halibut. Another short. There he is, guys, on the Super Glow MSMKB. Oh! Josh is on! <laughs> yes, sir! Big one? Josh and I are doubled up. Oh, dude, that might be illegal, bro. Maybe my first illegal. That might be illegal. Oh, that's so close. He's fat, though, dude. Here, I got mine. Okay. Dude, that's close. Double up. All right, we doubled up, guys. I got one on the Super Glow MSMKB. Josh got one. That's probably illegal on the MS Anchovy. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Josh, I'm so stoked, man. Just barely pull all. You want it to be legit no matter what, you know? Yeah, no, so, I mean, I'm not keeping it. Um, I don't so have that, a cooler. that's legitly on the zero. Yeah, that's my closest yet, We can though. spread it out. Well, they will take Dang, you're so close. Hey, Josh Bailey of Big Lout Baits. Ben Jigham Fishing, double up. Josh got the bigger one. I wouldn't have it any other way, guys. Let's go, let's get him back. Mine's gone. Josh is gone. Hey, double up on the halibut. Doesn't get any better than that. Hey, how was that? Talk about it a little bit. That was great, man. I uh, got right out into this hole here. Slow retrieve, occasional pop, just like Benji always says. Bam, hit. Dude. That was so, intense. So Josh is cleaning it up today. Um, he's got 12 inch Bart Sir perch and uh almost legal hell of it man that Pretty only close. that only means one thing though we got to keep casting and you got to get them today that would be keep epic so let's go all right guys doesn't get any better than this uh well i guess it could get better but uh it's a real fun bite like i said i started off the session um super slow and uh it was super slow yesterday so i wasn't expecting anything but man josh brought the good juju today yeah the lucky craft is producing today guys um the super glow msm kb Josh is using um, the good old faithful MS Anchovy, one of the OG colors. Just shows you patterns might be overrated, man. It's about throwing it, retrieving it right, and uh, th it's a reaction bite. So, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, high tide or low tide, what do you guys think? Fish on, guys. Oh, it's pulling, man. Wow. He's pulling. He was pulling quite a bit of drag. Now he's slowly moving in. He's got to keep the line tight and hope to beach him. Move back with the tide. Not illegal. It's a short halibut, but a very, very feisty halibut. All right, there she is, guys, on the um, Super Glow MBP. And uh, she hit small and skinny, but still super grateful and super fun. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Fish on. Yeah, it's another small one. Now he's surfing across. This one's even smaller. Oh, it's tiny. Man, what it is about these feisty fish? That's four halibut today, guys. It's uh, 
fun little session. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. High tide or low tide? Um, low tide works for me and uh, really worked out today. Josh and I caught between the three, two of us, seven halibut. Um, the Lucky Craft was on fire today as usual. Big thanks to Josh just for fishing together and just for his friendship. But in any case, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Always appreciate your support. And as always, until next time, tie lines.